Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. I have some superheroes for you to meet today. It's Dave, the Radon Man Massa, and he's owner and president. And he's alongside his wife, Vicki, the Radon Woman Massa, who's owner and VP, and they own the Radon Reduction System. And I call you guys superheroes because you're helping us with radon gas and helping us, if we have that problem in our home, how to get rid of it. So first, let's start with what is radon gas and why should I be worried? Um, well, thanks for the opportunity to be oh, here. I, I'm, I'm flattered to be with superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> what is radon? Radon is any radionuclide that undergoes exactly 2.7 times 10 to the negative 12 radioactive disintegrations per second. Wow, that sounds very high techy. <laughs> well, you know what, I learned that just to, or we learned it just to impress our friends. Uh, but in reality, radon is a uh, naturally occurring colorless, odorless, tasteless uh, gas uh, that comes from the uh, radioactive decay of uranium in the soil. Okay. And the EPA has decided that it is the second leading cause of lung cancer. Wow. Uh, right behind cigarette smoking and you know just the reality is it is the number one uh, cause of lung cancer among non-smokers. Wow. And so we find out about radon usually when we're buying or selling a home. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Is that yeah. how we know, usually find out we, we have a problem? Well, you know what, when we started in 1991, public awareness was not where it is now. Uh, so the only way somebody would find out about radon is if a neighbor had it or your uncle had it. Uh, but awareness is that's come a long way with the regulation of radon in the state of Illinois. Um, but. Um, most of our work comes from a real estate uh, transaction. And if you put your house on the market, Liz, um, an educated consumer will come along and do a radon test. And uh, that might be the first time you knew you had a radon problem. Um, so, and the effect of uh, radon gas is again lung cancer. Right, now Vicki, you got into this business because you were, and probably still are, a realtor. Well, actually, I, I'm not a realtor anymore. I'm yeah. Mrs. Radon, uh, Mrs. the Radon, Radon woman. Okay. But, um, yeah, I was a realtor. I got into real estate in 1988. And when I was at the office at, um, with office meetings and listening to other realtors um, with their home inspections, we found I, I was starting to hear about Radon. And I'm like, that is interesting. And um, so I went home to Dave and I said, Dave, you know, why, what's radon? Have you ever heard about it? And he actually, because he's a plumber at that time, he still is, he said that actually one of the homes, the projects that he was doing, uh, was actually doing radon in um, the underground stage of construction. And so Dave and I kind of thought about it and it just fit because of the plumbing background and me being in real estate that we should probably think about going into business. So yeah, that's how it all started as far as trying to, um, you know, getting aware of the real uh, in real estate. Right, well, you know, and you guys, that was, you know, very uh, fortuitous of you and it seems like uh, the perfect way to come into this because that's when I think we all got a little bit more smarter smarter about radon. It mm -hmm. became a little bit more of a talking point. Mm -hmm. Who's your potential customer? Um, you know what? Uh, again, 95% uh, of our customer base it comes from a real estate transaction. Um, and the other 5% are people that are just concerned mm -hmm. that have had a neighbor do it and say, hey, what's that? Uh, but I would say 95% is from a real estate transaction. And really, our customers are typically the seller. Okay, the seller part of it. Now, Vicki, if, if I'm selling or if my neighbor has it, or I know that my own home, I tested when I bought it, mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I'm calling, I get to you first. Mm -hmm. Take me through that first contact with the customer and, and what what do you tell me and how do you guide me through this process because it's a little scary it is it's a, it's a lot scary and um, you know there's a lot of dealings when you're selling your home and that's one of the things that me being a, a realtor um, I understand so when someone calls and they say they just had a radon test the inspector came their levels were high maybe um, the levels were just above 4.0 which is the action level that we need to keep under um, 4.0 4 
I basically just try to tell the people that, you know, don't freak out about this. This is, um, it's something that's easily fixed and I just take information down about the house. I have a whole series of questions I ask and then I present it to Dave or call him on phone and say, babe, you know, we have someone that's really kind of anxious about real estate uh, in the real estate contract, the radon being high, and Dave will just go and meet the person, give a, a, an estimate, and um, yeah, we just make sure we calm people down. But yeah, I'm the first person that people call, okay. and um, yeah, I try to you know assure them that radon is fixable. And that's good news. That is good news. It's fixable, and I'm sure you're very calming because it just—it's another expense in a very stressful time, as you right. say. Right. Yeah. So, so what what is the fix? What does this look like? How do you how do you fix this radon, man? Well, you know what? <clears throat> For us homeowners that have a home, uh, we all at least have probably looked at our plumbing system and piping a few times. So this is a small network of piping, a permanent fixture of the home. So to make a long story short, we drill a hole in your basement floor. We insert a three inch PVC pipe and depending on how the design and layout of your specific home is, that dictates where the fan is gonna go. It'll either go maybe in the garage attic, maybe it'll go on the outside of the home. And very simply, the fan is drawing radon gas consistently from underneath your basement floor and it discharges in the outside atmosphere. Uh, again, the average fix is from five to eight hours, maybe, okay. um, but it's always done on the same day that we start. Oh, that's good to know. So it's a one-day operation? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, figuratively and literally, it's a one-day operation. <laughs> How do we know the radon gas is, is actually leaving our house? How do we know it's effective? Okay, so you have to specifically test for it. So the EPA in the state of Illinois do recommend a post-installation test. Again, challenging homes we sometimes have. Um, so uh, since a real estate transaction is extremely time sensitive, the work is done, you've got to wait a minimum of 24 hours to do a 48 hour test. Okay. Now the state of Illinois recommends a, or demands a minimum of a 48 hour test to be recognized and the real estate industry does also. So when those test results come back, um, you know, 99% of the time it's fine, but again, sometimes you run into a challenge. Right, well that makes sense. I can definitely tell that you two love to uh, help people. Mm -hmm. What makes this so rewarding for you? It is helping people. Um, you know, we in, we've been in the business since 1991 and we've heard a lot about the cancer health risks. And um, we all have people who we've loved pass away from cancer. And um, my mother especially passed away from lung cancer. So when we found out that um, this is a leading cause of lung cancer second to smoking, um, and our home is our safe haven, and we should all feel protected and um, safe in our home, that's, that's why we are so passionate about it. I guess the appropriate answer would be, and it is uh, probably the most uh, important gratification I get, is we get to do a job, it's gonna sound very corny, that is helping the lives of people. Our homes are supposed to be our safest haven. And if you cannot feel safe in your own home, it's, it's uh, unsettling. So we get to come in here, put these awesome systems in, and at the end of the day, seriously, it's very, when you could physically see what you've done, it's extremely gratifying. So, um, and plus, Vicki and I have built this. This is, um, you know, what the moral of the story is, this is like one of our children. So we've got, if somebody asks me, how many kids do you have? I'll say four, they're all ours. It's Rebecca, Rachel, Randy, and Radon Reduction Systems. And that's really the truth, we're very proud of it. Well, you should be, you guys care a lot, and I can tell that you uh, take this very seriously, and you're helping. We can't see or smell this gas, so we need the Radon Man and the Radon Woman to help us. <laughs> so thanks so much for stopping by, telling us a little bit about what, what you do and what we need to be concerned about. Well, Thank you. We're gonna be right back with more Business Connection. Stay tuned.